So, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about a hot topic. It's gonna be equipment. So the video you've seen last week has all been shot on this phone, iPhone 11 Pro. There's an issue with that. I, 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 might, I might have confessed that. I just want a blurry background. Obviously, this is all in focus at the moment. I don't even know if it's ever exposed or anything because I can't see myself. Despite I could use Filmic Pro on my iPad to, to see myself. Um, I'm not doing that at the moment. I don't know why. I just start shooting. And that's the good thing about the iPhone, that you can just start shooting just because you want to do that. And I really would like to keep it like this. But on the other hand, I don't want to just move around the house trying to find a background that's suitable. I'm thinking I might get a mirrorless camera for studio shoot. So lower light, it will work better. And then blow on this one. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. The mirrorless camera, I think I should get one. Let me know what you think. Shall I step up already? Or shall I wait? This is a journey. He was 19. Bye -bye. And you know, things get in the way. You can already the drill, big cooking. I've been trying to find a backdrop that doesn't look messy and it's really, really hard. And did I forget? I didn't. It was Mimi's birthday. Yeah, she turned two. And we had a blast. It was a semi-lockdown birthday. Viola had a birthday in complete lockdown, so she didn't have any friend apart from like video calls. And Mimi instead got a few friends around and we had the piñata, which is a weird way of like getting sweet out of a unicorn. Backdrops are always. Yeah. Despite, I think these are more for like blow with your mouth thing. But we're trying. This is how you do it. Yeah, but Come on, let's go. What is it? It's a dead cat. It's a dead cat. It's a rat. 
It's a dead cat. Rat. No, it's not a rat. Come on, get up. Bye. Bye. So, they decided to, be, to take the Vespa today for the first run after two months of lockdown. And guess what? We are officially stranded. Yes. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's uh, a battery. I tried everything. Good news. Looks like uh, friend Paolo is coming to rescue me with his scooter. I tried to get a van, tried to get anything. Stranded. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. We got saved by Paolo. Let's have a look. And the main reason why why I can keep track with these videos um, is because during the day I'm looking after one of the girls and from next week actually, well, probably both of them. Um, and I need to try and film in the evening. Despite Viola yeah, goes to bed quite late. Ready, steady, and action. Say something. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Put a thumbs up after. <laughs> I hope you like this video. If you like this video, put a thumbs up. Is it good? Oh, no, I'm saying something. Viola approved. And every week or every vlog, I want to try to pack some of information about gear, you know, photographic equipment, cameras, whatever, accessories, apps. There's something frustrated about this app. I'm going to talk about it in, an, in, in, a, in a video. But um, what's supposed to be something I really liked in the previous video about the gears I was buying, it was this. Um, kind of like selfie stick by Movo, you can see here. It comes with a microphone and in theory it was great, you know, in theory it works good. This goes on the top there, you know, you put that on top, this fits in there. Um, and last week we spoke about some of the best one that I found. There's one issue though, which I had envisioned and when you put your phone in here, to in order to to fasten it, uh, you have to really turn this like hundreds times, and this is the same when you want to remove it. So really, it's not pre like if, if you get a call while you're filming or after you're filming, and then you kind of end up using this to call, it just looks odd, and it's quite big. Obviously, it doesn't become something you can, you know. This was like a very fast, quick release. I think it would have stayed, but unfortunately, this needs to go back in the box and goes back to Amazon. It's not bad, it's not, it's not a bad item, it's actually very well designed and very well made. I, I do like it, it's just that it's not practical for a very quick shoot, run and shoot kind of a style, like vlogging style. So, while you're going back, it's good. It, it's not expensive, but it's just not practical for me. So I'm going back into well, I'll show you another time, but like, yeah, a Ulanzi cage that I think does the job. And uh, it's bigger, but as a matter of fact, it, for me, it's more, you know, easy to detach the phone in and out, microphone in and out, put it back in the pocket, go. Rather with that one, it, would, it just takes too long. So that's gone. 